Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. Uh, as you noticed, it's February 2nd, two twos, um, and we're dealing with rationals and irrationals, which are very interesting in the world of mathematics, as the union of the rationals and irrationals make up the real numbers, and the rationals Irrationals, as well as the reals, are all dense sets, meaning if you choose, well, one property of that is if you choose two irrational numbers, no matter how close they are, there's an a rational number in between them. Um, that is not what we're going to be discussing, but rationals and irrationals are fascinating either way. Um, the question this week is we're looking for some L and K in the complement of the rationals, which are, is going to be denoted by this boldface Q. Um, in the complement of the rationals being the rationals, such that L raised to the power of K is a rational number. Um, Um, so here, here's a basic uh, simplification of what we're trying to do. We're trying to get an irrational, raise that to an irrational. And is that equal to some rational? So let's look for an irrational number. Why, not, why don't we choose a very famous one, the square root of 2? Um, and the proof is very quick. I'll just write it here. Okay, so this is a very, this is a long step in, in our original um, quest. So, but it is necessary, and you may have fiddled with a few irrational numbers concerning logs or exponents, like e raised to something, but this way works very nicely, and you'll see in the end we use a very clever trick. Um, basically, we're going we to, but we first have to find an irrational number and prove that rigorously. So first, we're going to assume the square root of 2 is rational and try to find a contradiction in our logic, which would prove that square root of 2 is indeed irrational. So rational, a rational number is a and b, a divided by b, where a and b are integers, such that a and B have no common factors. So we square both sides. 2 equals A squared over B squared. Um, multiply B squared on both sides. 2B uh, squared equals A squared. And since B is an integer, B squared is going to be an integer, which means 2 times some integer equals A squared, which is the definition of A being even. And there is another proof that you can do if you really want to be rigorous, saying that if a squared is even, that implies a is even. That's a simple proof. I'll leave that to the viewer you. Um, and this also means that 2 times some integer is equal to a. Um, so we substitute that 2k equals a into this here. Um, so we have 2b squared equals 4k squared. Divide each side by 2. Um, b squared equals 2 times some integer k squared, which itself is going to be some integer. Um, which means b is even. And since b and a are both even, we have contradicted our original claim 
that they have no common factors because then this would reduce. So great, we have our uh, irrational number that we can work with, which is also the date here, which is very funny. Uh, um, Rory, uh, insert some laughs there. <laughs> Anyways, so since we're lazy, we're just going to use the same square root 2, which um, if you recall, we're raising L to the K where L and K are both irrationals. That doesn't mean they can't be the same because they're not distinct irrationals. So we're raising this to the square root of 2. Um, without a calculator, and even with a calculator, it would just give you an approximation of this. But without a calculator, we can't really say much about what this is. We can say We can say that the answer will either be rational or irrational since the answer is obviously going to be real, so it has to fall into an irrational, an irrational or rational set. Um, basically. So if, we're, um, if it is rational, then we're done. Um, we have found an irrational raised to an irrational power, and it's Q. However, if it's not irrational, um, why don't we just use the same square root of 2, um, raise it to We're going to take this irrational number, raise it to another irrational number. This square root of 2 is going to come in, hit this square root of 2, turn it into a 2. Um, it's going to become square root of 2 squared, which is 2, which of course is rational because it can be written as 2 over 1. Thank you for watching this Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. You can find a playlist of all of our our advanced knowledge problems of the week here. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel here and check out our website here. And if you're on a mobile device, there will be cards added somewhere over here that you can click on and uh, bring up links to all those sites.